Today, we're going to do a little partnering. If you're watching this video during the coronavirus outbreak, you may not be able to work with a partner. If that's the case, don't do what we're about to do on this video, but instead watch this video right here. So we've just done weight away. Next thing we're gonna do is weight towards. What we're doing in weight towards is taking the triangle that we had in weight away and upending it. So instead of having the point at the bottom, the point of the triangle is now at the top. So what you'll do is you'll turn to face your partner, put your hands out, and press your weight into that contact point with your partner. Just like in weight away, we've still got a triangle with this point at the top, and your two other points connected to the floor. Instead of pouring our weight away from my partner, I am now pouring my weight into him, and we find a balance between us that is equal. Once we've found this balance, we can begin to play with it. So can I pour my weight into one hand? I'm going to start by telling him which hand. I'm going to say this hand. Now pour my weight into this hand and release the other one and switch. To move on slightly is can I begin to lift my feet up off the floor. So pouring into this contact point. How do I find a way to lift my foot off the floor and move in space? Thank you. The triangle shape starts to shift, but the points remain the same. I'm still leaning in, I'm still pressing into my partner, and we're still sharing that responsibility of the weight. So, once I've got comfortable with being able to move around the space, leaning into my partner, can I find different parts of his body to contact? So as I pour my weight into this contact point, I can move closer to him, and I find a new contact point, and I'm now pouring my weight into this point. And one thing I'll say, I'm pouring weight in too. Just the same as I was pushing into the hand, I'm just now pushing into the chest right here. But the pressure was really the same, it didn't change. If I start to lean backwards, we'll fall over in my direction. One thing that I want you to notice is how important the transitions are, the transitions. You can really feel them in your body and you can feel your partner doing them, but it's difficult to notice if you're outside of this. So when I want to let go, I don't have to tell him I'm doing this, but if I simply put more pressure into one of the hands, the other one will float away. If I connect with another part of the body, the first thing that I'm going to do is just make contact. Then I feel the pressure. As the pressure increases, the other side just floats away. It's very different to do that than doing this. That's not what we want. And that technique is the same when we're moving our feet. If I want to lift this foot off the floor, I have to push my weight into the other foot until this one floats away. 
So now what you're going to try and do is combine the weight away and weight towards and find yourself transitioning between different body parts, between pouring weight into each other, pouring weight away from each other. What we really want you to try and do is to connect with your partner non-verbally. So instead of talking through the moves and telling your partner what you're going to do and then telling you where they're going to go next, see if you can do it just through the touch, just through those contact points. So what happens if one of these moves fails? What happens if you do fall? Well, there are two things. One, you need to be safe. But the other is you need to change the way that you think about failure. Uh, when I'm going downwards, I'm not thinking I'm falling, uh, something went wrong. It's just that the improvisation that we're doing just happens to be moving rapidly towards the floor. Nothing actually went wrong. It just didn't do what I expected it to do, and so I can use that. So for instance, if Ashley and I are working together and I lean a little too much or if he isn't ready for my weight and I start to fall, well, the ground isn't too far away. It's right there. And as long as my partner doesn't panic and let go, we'll just go to the floor. So if we did that again and I sort of fall, he's trying to break my fall a little bit. This is where the improvisation is. Where do we go next? Well. And we just go right back up, maybe. Or we could go into a weight-bearing move. I don't know. There are many things that we can sort of play with from that position if we treat it in our improvisation as just something that happens instead of a mistake that we have to stop and correct. So be safe first. Make sure that you are being careful with your fall and being careful with your partner. And secondly, if something unexpected happens, treat it as just that. Something unexpected happened, and maybe we'll find something really cool, really interesting, really beautiful out of that. Have a move you want to learn? Write it down in the comment section. We'll make a video about it. Wake up.